so welcome back students to one more session of your confirmations of uh, alkanes so in the previous video i've taught you about the confirmations of ethene and then i've taught you about confirmations of uh, propane and butane also done so today we'll be learning about the confirmations of cycloalkanes so basically what are cycloalkanes cycloalkanes if i have to define in a simple term these are nothing but rings of carbon atoms isn't it rings of carbon atoms Done. Yes. So here in cycloalkanes, almost up to uh, C C20 till C20 uh, ring, so uh, the carbon atoms with C20 till that they are isolated. But among them, like almost you know some five or six carbon atoms, common rings are five or six atoms, carbon atoms. So C20, although they are isolated, we'll be studying basically about uh, carbon atoms having five means uh, rings having five carbon atoms or six carbon atoms. So five or six carbon atoms rings are common. Are common. Done? Yes. Fine. So first of all, this particular uh, study about the cycloalkane conformations was given by Adolf von Bayer. Okay. Yes. So here he has studied Adolf von Bayer has studied the relative stabilities of cyclic molecules. So let us write that he has studied relative stability is of cyclic molecules. Cyclic molecules. So the stable forms of uh, cycloalkanes are chair form boat form as well as twisted boat form okay let us write that here twisted boat form right these are the three stable forms so when i have to draw the chair form of cycloalkane or cyclohexane rather so i'll be taking the example of cyclohexane here so cyclohexane chair form looks like this let's draw right done so when i have to draw the boat form boat form of cyclohexane looks like this when i draw the twisted form twisted form right let us count one two three four five six hexane six carbon atoms let us count here one okay let's start from here one two three four five six six carbon atoms here in this case one two three four five six six carbon atoms so these are the three common conformation conformers of cycloalkanes so here when i have to speak about their internal angles right so the internal angles are or uh, between uh, the atoms is 120 degree internal internal angles here are one is 120 degree but an angle between the successive bonds as i've seen here the angle between successive bonds is 109 degree but the angle between successive bonds how much is it is 109 degree it's just like a tetrahedral angle isn't it tetrahedral angle done so when I have to draw the chair form, as I said, told you, chair form, boat form are uh, important. Let us draw the chair form of this and represent. So when I have to draw the chair form of cyclohexane, it looks like this. See here. Okay. Now start filling the hydrogens. One hydrogen here one more hydrogen here right first of all basically this is the first one this is the first one this is one then this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one 
This is the fifth one. This is the sixth one. Done? Yes. So, this is the chain form. Now, this is called axial hydrogen and this is called equatorial hydrogen. Axial hydrogen and equatorial hydrogen. Now, suppose if I have to draw the boat form of cyclohexane, how does it look? We have already drawn in the lesson, but I'll be showing representing the hydrogens. Done. Now fill the hydrogens. One hydrogen. Second one. Third one. Fourth. Fifth. And this is the sixth one. So this hydrogen and this hydrogen is called flagpole hydrogen flagpole hydrogen right so cyclohexane basically is expected to have more deviations from ideal angle and uh, you know means uh, because of that deviation like uh, let us draw and uh, means we'll be representing that particular uh, structure that is a chair form in, uh, uh, this in your boat form because of this deviation the, the existence of the chair form and the boat form the, where the bond angle is exactly tetrahedral angle. So, in terms of Sawhorse projection, I will be showing that to you now. Yes. Right. This is how I represent. Right. So, this is the Sawhorse projection of chair form and boot form. Hydrogen, 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 one more hydrogen, 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 this is one more hydrogen, here you have one more hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. When I have to draw the boot form of this, flagpole hydrogen, this is one more hydrogen at this point hydrogen this is also hydrogen flagpole this hydrogen hydrogen this is hydrogen this is hydrogen so this is the a form of this this is the b form so both are so horse projection of chair form and boat form okay yes done of cyclohexane so among the order of stability if i have to say so the order of stability if you're if you're asked in the question among all the forms of um, cyclohexane the order of stability among them the chair form is the most stable form then twist form there's one more then boat then half chair so this is the order of stability of cyclohexane projections so when i have to see the or uh, some factors on which it is depending so let us write what are the factors on which the <coughs> stability of different conformation depends upon so basically there are two important factors which you have to remember so it is right factors affecting stability stability of conformations or conformers or conformations so basically there are two factors let us put the line here and learn the first factor is called torsional strain the next factor is steric strain okay right what is this torsional strain and steric strain let us see it is rated uh listen difference so basically when there is a torsional strain there is increase in potential energy of a molecule 
okay the increase in potential of the energy of a molecule here also due to steric strain there is increase in potential energy of a molecule now ma'am what is the difference you should ask me difference is both the strains are occurring due to repulsions only okay let us write that due to repulsion between electrons in bonds okay that do not we'll do an example you'll understand that that do not share <coughs> that do not share an atom okay now here increase in potential energy of the molecule same thing i'm not writing again due to repulsion between electrons electrons in atoms that are not directly bonded that are not directly bonded what are those directly bonded what are those let us see so torsional strain means if i take an example this is one chlorine hydrogen hydrogen chlorine hydrogen hydrogen so the strain or the repulsion between two bond this these two the electron cloud of this one and this the electron cloud of this one there is a lot of repulsion so because of this it is certain amount of torsional strain which exist and because of this there is increase in the potential energy so this is called this particular repulsion due to repulsion the strain caused or the strain formed is called torsional strain now when i have to take the steric strain i said they are not directly bonded how is it let us take one carbon here one more carbon there is one more hydrogen here there is hydrogen here this is linked to one more carbon one more hydrogen one more hydrogen so this carbon also is linked to one more carbon which is linked to hydrogen which is linked to hydrogen right so this also is linked to hydrogen right so there is a ch3 bond here there is a ch3 bond so this and this is linked now see here the strain which is created between two atoms or these two molecules rather which are they are not directly bonded see here they are bonded here so because of the strain which is cre uh, create or the strain which is formed due to the repulsion between these two electron clouds is called steric strain so here it is among the same molecule here it is between two which are not bonded so these are the two factors one is the torsional strain factor one is the steric strain factor because of which the stability of the conformation differs or because of this the stability of conformation that is the chair form boat form twisted boat all will vary and this particular thing these are held together at a distance equal to or greater than the sum of their van der waal radii right so these are held they basically you know the i said the this particular electron cloud and this particular electron cloud will be repelling so what distance they are held at a distance equal to or greater than the sum of van der waal radii so if this distance between them is smaller than the sum of the van der waal radii you know if that when i add these two the distance if i calculate if they calculate if the radii is smaller than that of the van der waal radii they start repelling and that is why there is certain amount of strain so once again if the distance between them is smaller then the sum of their van der waal radii once you find the van der waal radii if the distance between them is lesser than the sum of this then this starts repelling when this starts repelling what will happen automatically that affects the conformations of the particular alkane so these are the conformations of cycloalkene students hope this is clear i've explained about the chair conformations i've explained about just see here i've explained about the chair form boat form twisted boat then i've given you the angle between them i've also drawn you how to represent chair form and boat form and i've also shown you the sawhorse form of chair and boat then we i've given the order of stability of this i've also given you the factors which are affecting that i showed you what is torsional strain what is steric strain in both the cases
so thank you for watching students i'll be meeting you uh, with the next important topic i think i have completed the confirmations so all the uh this is isomerism concept is done so we have studied about different isomerisms you know i have uh, gradually taken you into the means i first given you the flow chart of isomers i have given you the flow chart of isomers then i have taught you what are the structural isomers stereo isomers different types right in my next video as the topic is complete i'll start with the next important topic that is nomenclature of organic compounds very interesting here i'll be clubbing both 11th and 12th nomenclature i'll be teaching you what is iupac nomenclature i'll be teaching you what is common naming a common system of nomenclature so we'll be learning that is a trivial system so everything in detail with loads of examples thank you for watching students stay connected stay tuned stay happy